everyone, and welcome back to some more Harvey's New Ways. I hope you had a good weekend. I did indeed. Let's get playing, shall we? We want to go in entering dangerous places. And we're going to go in this cave. It appears to be Edna's hard out. At long out. last, Lily had reached her destination. Indeed we have. She had faced a thousand voice. dangers. And finally, she now stood in Edna's hiding place. I did not there hear was that. just one catch. Yeah. Edna was gone. That's bad. There's a whistle there, though. Or oh, an owl pipe, sorry. That was a bad sign. Edna never went anywhere without her owl whistle. Can we use the telescope? Hello? Hello? Oh, it's too many guys. Having a great time. Note. Edna had left a oh, message. Oh, hooray. Hopefully she was all right. I'm sure she's fine. Really? Help! Probably I'm not. I'm being devoured alive by a giant tentacled creature. Ah, She's fine. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> just kidding. I'm fine. I was just watching the bridge down by the river through my telescope. Dr. Marcel's minions seem to be planning something. Yeah, they do. I'll check it out up close. Yeah. If I don't return, you have to get help. But don't worry. I'll be careful. She won't be Where careful. Where are my kettle drum and my strobe flashlight? <laughs> Dang. Well, see you soon. Toodaloo. A kettle drum and a strobe Lily flashlight. Lily was relieved by the letter. But what if Dr. Marcel's men had caught her friend? Lily had to get to the bridge and look for Edna. She would find Garrett there too. Well, we have a wolf whistle now to make the noise of the... A wolf whistle? She's like, I'm, I'm just woken up, guys. I apologize. There's a lot of stuff to do this week as well in terms of the channel. And um, a lot on my mind today. But I meant our whistle. This damn piece of junk. Can you believe it? We finally found the girl. And oh, now God, the car won't start. They've got her. Should I perhaps push? This car should have been inspected months ago. But ever since the accident... The doctor has let everything go down here. It's probably insane. It's a shame. So, it was true. The attendants had already found oh, Edna. Oh, great. Why wasn't Garrett doing anything? Lily somehow had to get his attention. Well, we used the owl whistle. Owl pipe, sorry, whatever. Oh, for God's sake. It was uh. hopeless. Lily would never catch Garrett's attention while the owl kept interfering. Well, can I use it? Can I talk to the owl? No, 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 Papa, Papa. Okay, uh, hey. Stop that. Sorry? Uh... Never mind. I don't really know what I'm doing here. What? What's going on? Just, just stop it! Lily was able to finally give Garrett the signal without being interrupted. What just happened? Okay, Garrett. Lily was there able to finally give Garrett the signal without being interrupted. We'll do it. Garrett didn't seem to hear Lily's owl call at all. She tried once more, this time a little louder. Garrett, do something. Did you hear that too? Someone's out there. Oh fuck. Uh, Just wait. We'll take care of it. Great. Absolutely wonderful. Fantastic. Brilliant. Best thing ever. Really fucked. Well, who do we have here? But that's... Garrett, do something. Garrett, kill them. Edna, uh -oh. kill them. <laughs> what the hell is that? The Phantom! Phantom. Oh, and that's my question then. I guess everything's fine. What the hell is going on? 
What the hell? What the hell? What the hell? Okay, so that chased Millie off. Millie thoughtfully watched the fleeing attendants for a long while. She was used to having bizarre phantoms appear behind her without warning. But the way Dr. Marcel's minions had reacted surprised her. Usually, adults just ignored these creatures. Oh, God. She's really completely mental, isn't she? Anyway, let's get a key ring. We can get Edna out the car, maybe. Unless, I don't know if she's in the car, she could have just been singing. Okay, car. The attendants had left their delivery truck behind. Okay, we're going to the wall, I guess. Don't know what this is. Hi, Garrett. How you doing? Oh, thank goodness. I thought they'd caught you. Unfortunately, Edna wasn't as lucky. I saw how she was snatched and taken back oh, to the institution. Oh, she's already there. Bollocks. This gives us all the evidence we need. I will contact the task force leaders right away. It's best if you stay put until I come back with reinforcements. However, it could take some time. And I can't guarantee that Edna will still be alive oh, God. when we finally get the green oh, light. Oh, he's useless. If we're lucky, Dr. Marcel will torture her for a while before finally dissecting her or whatever else it is he intends <laughs> oh, to do with her. Oh, God. That would give us some time. She'll probably have to part with a few toes or oh, fingers. Oh, it's fine. It's fine. Oh, well. That's the way it goes. In any case, you wait here. I'll come and pick you up from exactly this spot tomorrow or the day after tomorrow, at the latest. Although the day after tomorrow is a holiday. But oh, well. You'll see. Just wait here. Oh my god, he is so totally, utterly Lily inept. Lily would have really liked to follow Garrett's instructions. Yeah. But, well, there were excellent reasons for doing what she did instead. We're going to the asylum, guys. Law. Oh, how I've missed you. It's been such a wonderful time we had in the first game here. Now we're going back here all over again. The asylum. <laughs> the institution's post Victorian masonry work had a friendly air about no, it. It was almost indeed. as if the architect had tried to spell out welcome with bricks and barbed wire. Oh, isn't that nice? This unspoken invitation found its culmination in a nearly overgrown back door. Isn't that nice, guys? And Lily intended to graciously. No, it's not good. It. This is good. This is good. The key and we'll go in the door. Carrying on door. Easy as play. So Exhausting the limits of her powers of deduction, Lily tried <laughs> opening the back door with the key. Let's do this. But just as she approached the obstacle, she heard a familiar cackling. Huh? Who the hell are you? Oh my god, he's taken the fucking what game. What a little scoundrel. The sneaky hamster had once again crossed Lily's plans. But despite this, Lily had no intentions of exacting a bloody we revenge. We probably are going to, though, guys, because I'm going to use the owl whistle on the hamster. Kill! Kill! Lily was glad. It was so rare that her friends got along so well with each other. Of course, this was also because she hardly had any no, friends. No, that's true. Much more important, however, was that the asylum key was no longer out of reach. It had fallen into one of the dark bushes. Something bad's gonna happen, guys. The key had fallen into the bush. It was very dark in there. But Lily wasn't afraid. No, but that's because she's stupid. Um. After all, it was just a bush. Are we sure it's just a bush? Isn't it someone from the asylum disguised as a... Yeah. Yeah. Why did the child have to be so careless all the time? See, the narrator has the same reaction as me. Chapter 3, which is the last chapter, is the asylum. I think we just fell into its dark depths. What could await us? Deep in the chasms, beneath the asylum. I'm going to keep playing so you'll find out really soon. Now okay, we got some keys. I didn't actually do that, but still. We've got a boat. Why is there a boat An here? An inflatable dinghy had caught in the sewer grate. People flushed the strangest things. I don't think that's been flushed. This is gonna be. This 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 looks suspiciously like something. Got a door there. Can we open the door? Boo! Huh. Well, who do we have oh, here? Phantom, a little girl. Just stay where you are, okay? Hey, stop! Mm. 
I'll get you anyway. Oh, there's a door there? Ah, oh, damn. Why do children keep getting away from me? I should do more sport. I guess he's a friendly fan. Oh, he's not very friendly, but what do I do? Use the boat? Come on, Lily. As fast as you can. It's alright. We haven't got all day. Don't worry about it. It's fine. It's not like he's going to catch you or anything if you fuck up. Ah, it's fine. No worries. He's going to catch us, isn't he? Oh, there you are. Just you wait. I guess we're going to keep going and it's going to be the best day ever. Guys, I guess we're gonna die if he gets this. I don't know. He appears to have some keys as well. I'm guessing that ladder is where hey, I need to go. Come back. Is something gonna happen on this screen? Give up. You can't get away. Especially not against the current. Delicious currents. Anything on this screen? No. Oh. Hey, come back. Are we going to go faster than him now? Oh, he's going to catch us, whatever we do. Or maybe not. Did we get away? Triumphantly, oh, Lily climbed I'm a ninja, guys. <laughs> she had finally found a way to get into the institution. That went really well. He was just an not amazingly so crap. Oh, God. Kick him. Kick him in the eye. Kick him! <laughs> Although she was briefly distracted <laughs> by a floating angry <laughs> smarty, Lily was able to reach the ledge. Oh Not a god. moment too soon as the ladder crashed down behind her. Oh my god! Dragging the phantom into the pit with it. No! <laughs> that was and amazing! Fortified by the energy smarty, Lily was able to pull herself on the ledge. Now her search for Edna could continue. I was so sure that was a cryptum event and I didn't use using a controller. I was like, what the hell is X? X doesn't exist. What is it? I was about to like rage hard. But it looks okay. Got a punch card here. Which looks like it opens each one of these furnaces for some reason. Let's try it on the first one. It was Okay, let's try it on the next one. I'm gonna try it on the wall and everything will be fine. It Ah, blah, blah, and this one. See? If at first you don't succeed, try again repeatedly for hours until you go insane. Who the hell are you? Oh, it's uh, Mr. Frock. How are you doing? Who was afraid of the boogeyman? Right. Um. Hey, that's my fireplace. I'm sorry, sir. You shouldn't be here unless you want to bring presents or sweep the chimney. Not that the soot is bothering me. That was the old Mr. Frog. Yeah, it's changed a the lot. The new Mr. Frog is enjoying the dirt. What do you ah, see? Dirt. You see? You sound really like you're enjoying yourself there. Um. That's Mr. Frog to you. And in case you're wondering what a piece of clothing like me is doing inside a fire, not a piece of clothing. I'm acquiring soot. Mm -hmm. That's right. I used to be very fastidious about staying clean, but then this impertinent person came along and dared to spill something on me. Damn right, the stains did. never came out. Oh, My clothing is black and greasy. My socks haven't been ironed, and I even have fleas. I don't want to stay Karen around, and Bertram. I'd introduce them to you, but they're sleeping right now. Okay, uh, chimney. Um... I'm living in a sooty chimney. So what? I used to be very fastidious. I don't care. Now, you're now speaking who eats his gummy bears <gasps> without an apple. Without? Uh, sit. Can um, I have some? Yes, I know that it's dirty here. So what? I love the cobwebs, the dust, and that rotting substance in the corner. Oh, it's a gummy I bear. just finished combing it. I wouldn't dust her even if you put a feather duster right in my hand. You don't have oh, a feather duster. Oh, he wants a feather duster. Uh -oh. Stop. I don't want to know. Okay, so if we get him a feather duster, that might resolve the issue. Okay, cool. 
What's up here? We got a slice of cheese, which looks like a key card. Anything else? There's a load of stuff in here we can't reach. We got a pizza fire, a telephone, a refrigerator, a credit card, chair egg, feather duster. Okay, we can't get any of those yet though. Okay. But I'm guessing that cheese will open another one of the furnaces for us to explore. Oh, hi, B-Man. How you doing? Can we talk to him? Can we get the lamp in? Moths fluttered around the dim light of the lamp. They were apparently searching for food. Oh, he'd bring Mr. Frock up here. He gets eaten, maybe? Um... I don't know. Uh-huh. It was hopeless. The man in the bee costume couldn't hear Lily from there. Uh, can we... Okay, let's get out of here, I guess. Can't do much with them at the moment. But all issues will one day be resolved. And we shall rule the game. I don't know I'm talking such crap this morning, I'll tell you that, guys. No idea. Uh, okay, so we now have... A lovely piece of cheese to go in here. Let's go go in the sun. Let's go have fun. Ha ha ha. Here we go. Oh, we're in here. Are we? No, we're in... Ah, oh, there we go. Lily had inadvertently broken off the leg of the chair. It was as pointy as a knife. Hopefully the funny little rabbit hadn't seen anything. Yes, he had. How you doing, Harv? But Lily, what are you doing there? Don't you remember? You must not use sharp objects. Just don't touch it, okay? See you around. Okay, we can't remove the block yet by the looks of things. We just have it. Feather duster. Can opener, which we have nothing to use on. Pizza flare. Credit card. What's in the fridge? Bananas. No. Anything else? Blueberries. Tomatoes. And broccoli. And a telephone. Welcome to Spamish Pizza Service. My name is Pokey. Oh. Can I take your order? Um. The one on the asylum. Is that right? Yes. I assume that we just shove it under the gate as usual. What toppings? Hello? Hello? Can oh, I damn take it. your order? You have to find uh, out what to take, I think. One with nothing coming up. Consider it done. It'll be about 30 to 45 minutes. Have a nice day. Please stop talking. You sound like your mouth is full of a million things. Okay, can we go through there? We can. Oh, here's the pizza. And there's Harvey. Harvey, why are you here? Huh? <laughs> How you doing, dude? <laughs> Surprised to see me again? I don't like this yes, guy. Yes, keep kicking. You won't escape me again. And now hold still until I've decided what to do with you. Lily considered this option. But instead... Did the following. Kick his ass. Uh, we're gonna have to stab him. You must not. Instead, I have to hypnotize Harvey. Strain. The silly rabbit did. Huh. Huh. Take a look with the feather duster. The phantom didn't. I don't know what to do. The fan. Okay, we'll use the bullet wheel on the phantom. The phantom. Am I fucked? The fan. Uh, pizza. The phantom. Uh. I don't know what to do. I really, really don't. The fan. <laughs> I'm the just fan fucked. I'm just fucked, guys. The phantom. She didn't have a chance to try anything. Oh, hang on, that's his eye. Can I put the thing of banana in the eye? The phantom. She didn't have... Lily couldn't... She just assumed that they were... Hmm, I'm so confused, guys. I really am. You must not... Uh, feather duster in his eye? The phantom. She didn't... Lily couldn't see... She just... This is ridiculous! Oh. 
There we go. Woogie! Guess we have to remove the shot object restriction thing. thing. Hello, Harvey Demon. How you doing? Lily had the feeling that these demons were getting bigger and more dangerous. Wow. Well, Lily didn't want to appear greedy. One feather would be enough, just like a Christmas dinner at the convent. Lovely. There isn't a lot to do in this scene by the looks of things. Can I, uh... None of this is interactable. Harvey Dean, well, hey Dad. you are very brave to come so close to me. Can't you see my teeth, my spikes, and my sharp claws? <laughs> Didn't anyone ever tell you to stay away from sharp objects? That would be a tragic error. Okay, well, can I tickle your tail? <laughs> Stop that! <laughs> Do something. Lash out! What did that achieve? Absolutely nothing, as far as I can tell. <laughs> Is something actually happening? I, I can't really tell. <laughs> What difference does that make? It's back where it started now. <laughs> I'm gonna watch the motions of the tail, guys. Hang on. <laughs> I'd advise a good. I don't know what to do, guys. I really One don't. feather, just like. Lily thought it was a bit, but what was she right at me? What do I do? <gasps> <laughs> what's going on? I don't know what's happening. Warrioress? Too weak? <laughs> do I like just keep tickling it? <laughs> well, that moves back there. Can I pick it up there? <clears throat> Nope. Okay, so I try again. And it moves again. I don't know what to do, guys. This is really like... I will be right back. Okay, I'm going to just tickle this a few more times. No. Tickle the thing a few more times is what I wanted to do. What did he stop me doing there? <laughs> oh, it's... Boo. <laughs> Come close. Uh... Lily had the... I want to fucking click on the padlock. Oh! <laughs> he stabbed uh, himself. Thanks. That was close. I... Uh-oh. Yeah, you've been got. This demon had also made a mistake. It seemed that in certain situations, it really was necessary to handle Like the one objects. I'm in right now, back in the real Lily world. Lily returned victoriously to reality. Yeah, this is not going to go so well, because I'm in the clutches of a complete psychopath right now, if you recall correctly, game. I like the guy with the knife to his head. Brilliant. Absolutely amazing. How are you doing, dude? Okay, well, let's remove the restriction, you sharp objects. And let's, uh, shove a broken chair in his eye. Ah, my eye! Perfection. Damn you, you disobedient brat! Damn. Is that Dr. Marcel? No, it's in a wheelchair. Fought for air.
The phantom's grip was tight around her throat. Disobedient, it had said. Harvey, come here. Oh, is this like a thing to go back and forth? I don't want to do that. If this is just like, you came here, now you can leave. Then there's no point. There's some coffee. Okay. Yeah, we don't need to do this at the moment, so we'll leave that for now. Leave Harvey alone, but at least we can go back and forth whenever we need to, using the abilities of the doll that's been left there. Okay. Let's have a look around, shall we, a bit more. Let's go to the bathroom first, need the loo. How you doing, washing maniac? Could take the knick needle, a bottle of starch. How you doing? Vidi 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 ah. Welcome to the laundrette. That was your cue to say this is supposed this to be is a supposed laundrette. to be a laundrette. And I'll answer, of wow. course. Oh, admittedly, it's a little rustic, but necessity is the mother of invention. Mother knows best. And now we're doing our laundry in the yard. Lovely. Urinals. To wishy washy for you. What other choice do we have? Exactly none. You don't have to, you know. Just make sure that the fabrics are separate. So this is another puzzle. Properly. The toilet sanitizers really stay. We'll do the red laundry in the urinal with the red toilet Makes sanitizer. Sense. Yellow laundry in the urinal with the yellow That's toilet easy sanitizer. Blue laundry in the urinal with the blue toilet yeah. sanitizer. And green laundry in the urinal with the green toilet sanitizer. If you want to try it, just show me some clothing with the right color. Then you can use the matching urinal as often as you want. Okay, well, we don't have... Oh, we can use these on some clothing, but we don't actually have any clothing at the moment. Got an idea how we might get some, though. Should we check the surveillance room while we're here? Might be a bad idea, but still. Eyes locked. The door was... Okay, we're going back to the maintenance room. There's probably more that way, but I want to go and speak to Mr. Frock quickly, because I've got an idea. How you doing, sir? We have a feather duster for you. What do you have there? A feather duster? Not that I would want oh, of course to have not. a Don't feather worry duster. About it. Oh, no. No matter how pretty they look. Which doesn't mean that I can't hold it for a second. Just, Just one, one little second. Just one tiny second. second. That would be That's completely fine. harmless. Don't you think? Give it to me now. There we go. Issue resolved. Ah, what a relief. Aww. And just look, I even found my old spare sheets. Here, go ahead and take it. You, you've earned it. Fantastic. Anyway, guys, we're going to end the video here. I hope you enjoyed this installment of Edna and Harvey, Harvey's New Eyes. And we'll find out what happens as we go deeper into the asylum next time round. Bye for now, Minxings. I will see you really soon. Bye for now.